हाई एवरी वन आई एम रंजन शेखावत आई वॉमली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू हुव टेकन द टाइम टू बी हियर दिस वीडियो फोकस इज ऑन मेथड्स टू इनहेंस योर वोकेबुलरी मैनी ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स हु स्ट्रगल टू इम्प्रूव देयर वोकेबुलरी आस्ट मी हाउ टू इम्प्रूव देयर वोकेबुलरी दे हैव फ्लुएंसी दे हैव अ गुड कमांड ऑफ ग्रामर बट वॉट दे लैक इज वोकेबुलरी दे डोंट हैव सफिशियंट वोकेबुलरी Some students want to have a treasure of advanced vocabulary for various reasons. For example, to clear IELTS, GRE, TOEFL, and many more exams. Many students wanted to impress their girlfriends with the knowledge of advanced vocabulary, but the problem is that they are not able to remember words for long. They learn the vocabulary words which will be in their mind for two or three days, but after that. on the fourth day however they try unable to recall those vocabulary words from their mind they asked me this question and sought tips from me here is how i improved my english vocabulary when i was in my college i improved my english by fall in love with this language once you do that nothing will seem like an effort it will be a fun I learned vocabulary words by using a link method but what is a link method I have made a wonderful video on the link method if you haven't watched it you can go and watch it I would drop a link to the video in the description box take the benefit of this video it will be really useful not only in learning english or remembering vocabulary but also in learning any subject it is an excellent method to know about Many students struggle to learn things but some students don't give much time and effort to remember but they still remember and that too for long because they apply techniques to remember they would remember for a longer duration than any other student so don't miss the opportunity to learn any technique that may be useful in your studies career and professional life go do it and watch the entire video on the link method the other method i used to remember vocabulary words idioms phrases and phrasal verbs is to record my voice while reading out the words phrases and idioms along with a sentence where the words are being used what i want to say is that i used to read out these words and use them in a sentence i would go to a quiet place and read out these sentences and record them and whenever i was free i used to listen to them so try to make a sentence using the words that you want to learn and then record that sentence in your voice and whenever you are free your ears are not engaged for example while jogging walking traveling on a bus or in a taxi just plug your phones in your ears and play this recording others will assume that you are listening to music but you are busy learning right with this you are giving yourself an association of those words and the sentence the way the songs are remembered without any effort just listening again and again the same way you will be able to learn new words with the sentences so why don't you try this method i used to do it and now also i'm doing it i haven't stopped it others assume i am listening to songs but in fact i was improving my english it can be fun isn't it if you fall in love with this language maintaining this habit won't be difficult once you fall in love with this language nothing will seem like an effort it will be a pleasure until and unless you don't have a desire to learn everything about this language not only for your exam point of view you will find it much more difficult to have command of this language for example i started reading avidly right from my college days gradually progressing to more advanced reading material i started with fairy tales and progressed to reading lewis carroll writer of alice adventures in wonderland and then later sherlock holmes stories i read the ramayana and the mahabharata i also read r k narayan's novels apart from these i read eb white roll doll my favorite was charlie and the chocolate factory written by roll doll based on this novel there is a wonderful movie called willy wonka and the chocolate factory 
If you get time, watch it. It is available on Netflix. You can read the novel as well. Try to read those novels on which there are movies available. First, watch the movies and then start reading the book. After reading the book, again watch the movie. You will understand it in a better way. I know it's time consuming, but if you are a beginner, it will help you understand the sentence based on the context. There is nothing easily available. You have to give your time and effort. No gain without pain. You can watch as well as read Harry Potter. I told Havisha to read Harry Potter, but she didn't like it. Once she watched a Harry Potter movie, but after 15 minutes, she switched the TV off. She said, I don't like this movie. And you know, she never attempted to watch that movie. Anyway, different strokes for different folks. She didn't like it, but probably you may like it. Just give it a shot. You won't come to know until you try. Everybody is unique in this world and has a special qualities which others may not have. You have to find out what it is that you have. What is your passion? Another regular habit of mine is reading the newspaper. I always read the editorials and the op-eds. There are brilliant editors and journalists. Along with the newspaper, I read magazines too. I owe a lot to those great journalists and content writers in popular magazines like Reader's Digest, Outlook and India Today. Of course, many of the words I encountered while reading were not familiar. I did not run towards the dictionary each time. I read a new word. I was lazy and unwilling to interrupt my reading and reach out for the dictionary. Instead, I would make a guess from the context. I would refer to the dictionary only if that word was frequently encountered and did not make sense to me. Looking up a word in the dictionary is irritating as it interrupts my reading pleasure. Many new words were learned by me simply by encountering them again and again in different contexts. Let me tell you, by reading you won't improve your pronunciation. Then how to improve your pronunciation? One is to check the pronunciation in the dictionary on your mobile or computer or laptop. The second is to listen to a good English speaker. For your information, I am a keen listener. Once convinced that a person spoke excellent English, I would listen to them with rapt attention and hang on to every word they said. I would be incredibly attentive to the way he or she pronounced words and note where I was mispronouncing them. I would make a note of the expressions they used and remember them and practice them in my mind. Earlier you had only TV and radio to listen to a good English speaker but now you have the internet or YouTube to help you to give a boost to your learning process. Listen very attentively to how the speakers pronounce words and you know most of your pronunciation would be corrected by just listening to better speakers. Writing also will boost your English. Don't hesitate to write comments on the video you watch. I encourage Havisha to write letters to her cousins regularly. Before sending the letter, I would correct her grammar and spelling in the letter. Your English learning journey would be easy if you don't set any time limit for learning. It is an ongoing process. I am still learning. And let me tell you, it will never end in my lifetime. Always remember there is only one rule for being a good talker. Learn to listen. One must possess the ability to listen intently. This point cannot be stressed enough. Hamesha yaad rakhiye ki ye zaruri nahi ki kuch bhi nai cheez sikhne ke liye ya samajhne ke liye aapki umr kitni hai. Balki zaruri ye hai ki usko sikhne ke liye, us nai cheez ko sikhne ke liye aapki andar lagan kitni hai. I hope you like this information. If yes, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Bye bye, see you in the next video.